Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, the channel name is Alba Stitcher. This is floss tube number 17. Today is Friday the 16th of July. Uh, welcome. If you're new here, then um, hope you enjoy what you see. And if you're returning, thanks very much um, for all the subscribers, the likes, the comments that I've received in my previous videos. This one will be a very short video. If you're following me on Instagram, um, it's the same, it's Alba Stitcher. You will have noticed that I've had uh, a bit of an accident. That's why I'm in a different surroundings. Um, I'll just quickly give an update of that. If you're not interested in the uh, gory hospital details, then maybe just skip on a minute or so till I get to the stitching. Um, on Wednesday the 30th of June, uh, I slipped going into the shower and I dislocated my ankle however at the time I didn't realise I had dislocated it so I stood up and then that shattered my ankle altogether so I'm currently in cast I don't know if you can hear that plaster cast uh, I was at the hospital this morning um, this is my fifth cast that I've had on in two weeks this one will stay on for another four weeks um, what, just to maybe give you a little idea, this is the first time anything like this has happened to me, but uh, obviously I slipped, shattered the ankle, there was lots of blood um, and bones sticking out of my ankle, um, one going one way and one going the other. Um, so called an ambulance, the ambulance took me to the accident and emergency of the, the hospital. They, so this was all around about 7.30 in the morning and yeah they had to somehow stabilise the ankle, stop the bleeding obviously and, and sort me out and I went into surgery at 12 o'clock I believe on Wednesday so the accident happened about 7.30 and by 12 I was in the, the operating room and the operation took three hours uh, they managed to obviously repair the damage that i had done um, i now have i believe a very large pin in my ankle and some other kind of pieces of metal um, they, they've sewed it up obviously for the, the wounds and um, i'm in cast i will be in cast now for another four weeks so it's been two weeks already i'll have another four weeks and then they'll put me in a walking boot uh, for six weeks and then hopefully by then I'll be pretty mobile so by that point we're talking early October uh, unfortunately it has meant that I've had to cancel my retreat that was booked the Scottish retreat which was the the first uh, weekend in October because they don't think I'll be able to drive this year um, it's been quite tough I'm, I'm obviously I'm not working. Uh, I'll maybe try and do some work over the next few weeks. Now that I've had quite quite a lot of kind of um, hospital trips back and forward, so for the next four weeks that's me. So I'm hoping that I can get into a little bit of a routine and do some work from home. Um, I'm certainly not able to function the way I, I normally function. Um, they had given me morphine in the hospital, but that resulted me in being very sick. So then they gave me anti-sickness to deal with the morphine, but now I'm on codeine now that I'm home. Um, pretty strong. Um, it is pretty strong and I'm actually not mobile at all. Um, I can't put any weight on my, my ankle. I should keep it raised at all times. And it, it's been quite a tough time and it's a lot of pressure on my, my family as well because they have to do so much for me. So I wasn't really sure when I was going to be able to do a flush tube. But luckily for me somehow I've managed to do a bit of stitching. I can't stitch at all on my linen so I've I've kind of resorted to, to Ada which has worked fine for me just now. So you'll see a lot of different kind of projects that will not be my usual whips that are now upstairs. I'm nowhere near my stash um, because I, I'm downstairs 24-7. I'm hoping that when I get the walking boot on things will be a lot easier particularly for my mum who does a lot of things for me uh, just now. So yeah, that, that's the kind of state of play. Um, it, it did kind of knock knock me a little bit. I'm not, I'm not used to being sick and I'm certainly not used to sitting doing nothing. Um, 
but it is what it is and I'm kind of over the first two hurdles because in my mind I had said right okay I need to get past that first hospital appointment then I need to get past the second hospital appointment so for me things are um, are kind of are moving on um, I don't go back to the hospital now till August so it's very much just rest letting the bones the wounds are clear and they're clean there's no infection or anything just to get the bones to set and then hopefully after that um, things will be much easier um, so for, for the next couple of floss tubes, I, d I doubt I'll be able to do more than one every three or four weeks. Um, it'll be a different set of whips you'll see, so hopefully you'll see stuff that you still enjoy. Um, there is one thing that I'm going to try and persevere to, to stitch on, which is the uh, the Tudor B salve that's currently myself and Kim um, is hosting the Contented Stitcher. Um, but everything else is, is kind of new and different and then I'm hoping come maybe uh, October time when I'm more mobile that I'm able to go back to my whips and get back into to stitching um, my, the, the stuff that I've already started because I'm still stitching. Yeah, so I think enough of that. You don't really need to know all the gory details. If anybody's interested, I can fill you in. Um, Needless to say, the bathroom was like a bloodbath. Uh, it was a bit like a horror movie. And this morning, when I was at the hospital, I did get my eyes opened a little bit as to how bad the wounds were. On one side of my ankle, I have eight stitches. And on the other side, I have 18. So there was 26 stitches taken out. And there was a couple of uh, staples also in that they took out. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's what's happening. But let's talk about stitching because that's why everyone is here. So I've got a kind of little bit of a different setup, um, but I would quite like to start with some finishes and then I'll talk about the whips that I've been working on. So I did stitch on a couple of projects that first week after my last uh, floss tube. Um, now I don't have I don't have my usual stuff here, so I'm hoping you can see stuff easily maybe i use this maybe that would help so the first thing that i stitched on and finished is this little design here and this is batty about halloween i've got a feeling it's praiseworthy stitches i might be wrong um the the chart was one that i had picked up off stash unload and i just chose my own colors so i think the bat is in coal the orange really i'm really struggling it might be pumpkin and the purple was ultraviolet there by weeks i believe so yeah i stitched this up and this is the piece of fabric which i talked about a couple of videos before that i'd asked about suggestions to over dye it i don't know if you remember well, I decided I wasn't going to over dye it. I've, I've kind of chosen another piece of fabric to work on the Halloween. And I decided to start doing some smalls. And I've actually done two. And I, I plan to do a third one. So that I would have three all done on this fabric. And then I'll get them all finished. So yeah, that was the first one I stitched on. This is a 28 count. Um, it's a silk weaver fabric. I don't have it at hand to tell you the exact name. I've got a feeling it's called Volcanic Ash. Um, but yeah, this was really nice to stitch on. Um, the other finish that I had before I had my accident was this one here. Again, it's the same fabric, so Volcanic Ash by Silk Weaver. And it's the same uh, threads that I used, except it's DMC 310 I used for the black. And then it's the same ultraviolet purple and I think it's pumpkin. I think the orange is pumpkin by weeks. So this is a hands-on design, the Halloween square dance. And this is Halloween square dance number one. And then this is small chart was eek. And I liked it because of the black cat. So my plan will be to have a kind of Halloween ball going with, there will be a third one. I'm not sure what the third a chart was going to be but it will be a small like this and I'll get those three finished but yeah that was a super quick these both were a super quick um, stitch that I thoroughly enjoyed um, my next finish that I have is something that I just finished last night this is the chart here it's an Annie B's folk art time to bloom and 
it was just really it caught my eye i picked it up off of ebay i think i think it was ebay um it just kind of caught my eye and i thought i really liked it and here is my finish you'll notice that i've changed the fabric on reflection i think i wished i had done it on the white i like the white because on the blue I feel as if the sheep just looks like he needs a good bath. He's a bit dirty looking. Um, I did swap out. I used. I did get all the colours. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, somebody came to the door. So as I w and not that I can answer the door, but I need to shout for someone to answer the door. Um, so I, I used the the call for, uh, threads. But I swapped it out and used this 14 count picture, this plus twilight that I picked up. Um, I, I've done a little bit of shopping for some uh, Ada so that I could keep stitching. I, I don't know how I would have coped um, over this kind of first six weeks and maybe in the... I, I'm hoping by the time it's on the second six weeks that I'm able to... Um, uh, stitch on my, my linen but for the first six weeks certainly not so I, I was kind of scrambling around trying to order some stuff and wells think about what I have in my, my stash I didn't feel I could actually go and have my mum rummage through all my fabrics and my charts because she's she's doing a lot for me and it's a lot so this is what I, I did I'm, I'm quite happy with it to be fair my, some of my stitches are a little bit wonky but it is what it is. Um, I'm highly do doped up just at the moment, so I, I don't expect things to be perfect. And I also um, changed out just, I think, a couple of the colours. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with it. I am actually very happy with it. And this is lovely fabric. Um, I would be tempted to stitch again on this picture, this plus uh, Ada. It's very soft. It's got great mottling. So I, I really enjoyed it. So that's that chart there, if anyone's interested in it. Um, my plan will be to uh, maybe stitch it again on the white um, or a light coloured fabric but that was my third finish which um, I'm really pleased about and I also worked on just a little and this is the one that um, I'm most disappointed about this is the blue flower the Tudor B Sal and this is a Sal that's hosted by myself and Kim who's contented stitcher on Floss Tube and I think it's K Goldman 63 on Instagram. Um, we were starting this sale on the 1st of July. I had my accident on the 30th of June. So this is the stitching that I've managed to do on the linen. This is 32 count, let me show you. This is 32 count uh, oatmeal. And I'm using the called for DMC. This is all I've managed to do. I've done a lot of frogging. Um, I've had to take uh, a lot of uh, stitches out. It's a lot to do with where I'm situated now stitching. Um, I don't necessarily have the best light so I just struggle. I don't have great eyesight at the best of times so I just struggle. But this is my start so if anyone's wanting to join in in the sal, there's still plenty of time. I can see me stitching on this until uh, Christmas. There's quite a few people stitching on it and they've done very very well. Um, we've already seen some finishes. It's a great chart to follow, um, a great a great stitch. So if you do want to uh, join us, then it's certainly worthwhile. And I will announce the giveaway winner at the end of this video um, for the person who who was going to receive a copy of this chart and the threads. Um, but yeah, that's my very small start. Okay. And then finally, what I've been stitching on is another kit that I went digging for. Um, and it's this kit here. This is a Body Threads kit. And it's called Snowy Stack. I don't think I need to take it out. I think it's pretty clear. And as you can see, we've got just some woodland animals and some Christmas decorations around it. Well, I've started this one. And I actually have quite enjoyed stitching on this. Again, it's 14 count Ada. Um, I think I've just lost my cushion there. Um, and this is how far I've gotten with it. You can see I've done basically the four woodland animals and I'm now just onto the, the polar bear at the bottom. 
see the polar bear? So, and what's interesting about this chart is that, well, first of all, it's very easy and easy to follow and it's on 14 count. So for me, it's actually been no problem stitching, but we actually stitch part of it with wools. You'll see them here and then here. And what we have to do is fluff them up afterwards. I'll show you the wools. So they come in the card like this, but you can see here, oh, you can see here that these are not just stranded cotton, that they are actual wool. Um, you do them to ply, and then finally, whoops, I'm not sure who that is in the chart, maybe it's here, no. There is a small piece of Velcro, I'm not sure where it is. There's a small piece of Velcro that you use just to fluff it up. And what's going to happen is the whole of the polar bear is going to be fluffy as well. Now, my plan is not to stitch actually all the other stuff. My plan is just to have the woodland creatures in the middle. Um, that That's what I plan to do. So I'm not going to use the other decorations, I don't think. Um, it's just a little bit too blingy for, for my liking at the moment. But at the moment, I think I want to keep it just like the woodland creatures. And uh, I'll, I don't think I'm going to do the bling. Maybe that will change, but that's what I'm thinking of at the moment. And it's been a really good, uh, enjoyable stitch for me. I have quite a, a soft spot for body threads. I have a few of them. Um, there, there are some that I had planned to stitch, and this was one of them that I was going to change the fabric out. But I think the situation being as it is, I thought I would take advantage um, to get to get it stitched. So between this one and the the small one, Time to Bloom by Annie B's Folk Art, that's kind of kept me um, busy these last couple of weeks. So yeah, so that's all the stitching that I've done in the past few weeks. But I do actually have some haul. Um, I'm predicting that I will have all my Christmas shopping done um, before I'm out the, the walking boot. Um, there is only so much daytime TV you can watch and sometimes my eyes are really tired and I can't stitch. Um, it will get better when I plan to do a little bit of work from, from home as well. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of I'm kinda buying a lot. So let me go through the few things that I've purchased in the past. Um, couple of weeks. The first thing I want to show you is something that I got off eBay. Um, I bought this and I've actually I've kitted it up. My plan is that I'm going to start this next and it's this one, this little um, tralala. I have no idea. It's something about the mouse. Okay, magical mouse I think. This one here. Um, so I picked that up off eBay. And my plan will be to stitch it on this. This is a 14 count Ada in Heartland. I bought two pieces of this just so that I would have it. Um, I like a good neutral and I thought this might, might do a few of the pieces that I'm planning on stitching. So yeah, and I have all the threads for my little magical mouse. So I'll probably start that this weekend. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to stitch on my... Um, Blackbird design stockings for July. I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't really want to put pressure on myself, so I'm not sure. I'm going to. I might try. I might try. Let's see how it goes. So yeah. So that was that was part of my haul, as was the two pieces of, of Heartland that I bought, which was good. Um, I also bought this here, which is a, a waxing moon design. And this is Halloween Street. I believe this is just a, a new release. So you can see there. I quite, I quite like them. Quite cute. One, This might be the third one that I do on that fabric for the set. Um, I also picked up these two little tiny modernist charts. So that's the first one. Which is Mousy's Christmas Decorating. And then the second one that I got was Mousy's uh, Love Letters. I don't, I don't know why I have a, a little series of mouse. I don't know what's going on there. I've also ordered the Halloween one 
and I think there's an Easter one, so there'll be a set of four. I don't think my Heartland's going to cover all four of them, but at least if I can get two of them done um, on this. I've not kitted them up for threads yet. I also picked up this of Stash Unload, and anyone who's followed me for any amount of time knows that my little cat, my little white cat, Alba, um, and I, I want to do this because, yeah, why not? Um, I also picked up this chart here and I think there's been quite a few people have uh, bought this. I did try to get this and it was extremely difficult. It was kind of out of stock. And then Arts and Design, which is a, an online cross stitch shop, which is, I can't really fault them. In fact, I can't fault any of the the people that I buy from here in the UK, whether it's Peakside, Needleworks, or Patchwork Grabber, or Arts and Designs, but this one here, and this one is And Be Kind to One Another, and it's by Needlework Press. I just really, really liked it. It's a companion piece to, um, I think it's All Things Diligent. I don't have that piece. It might be something that I buy later, but I really, I really just like this one. Um, I like the sentiment of it. Um, I do believe that we, we all need to be a little bit more kind to people. Um, so yeah, I picked up this. And as I say, I got it from Art and Design. They had asked if, if they have something out of stock, you can have a little notification on. And I think, I don't know what's today, Friday, maybe Tuesday or Monday maybe, I had asked to be notified and it came in, I think, on Tuesday. And I ordered it on Tuesday and it was here by the next day. And the other two charts that I've bought at the moment is this one here, Be Happy by Stone uh, Summerhouse Stitchworks, which I quite liked, and again I like the sentiment. And this final one by Summerhouse Stitchworks, which is Respond With Love. And these are all just really small finishes. And I, I'm thinking that apart from this one, which I will wait, all these small finishes, charts that I've shown you so I'm thinking all of these I'm going to try and get stitched over the next six weeks or so on the Ada. Um, I've ordered some more Ada from a couple of other companies somewhere that I hadn't known about called the thehomemakery.co.uk um, I, I um, ordered from them so they had quite a lot of uh, Ada, picture this plus Ada in stock so I'm hoping that actually comes maybe tomorrow they only post once a week so i think i only ordered it this week and i'm not sure which day they post it wednesday or thursday so it should come but i'm i'm thinking that'll keep me going for at least the next four weeks um as well as still working on my snowy stack um so yeah that that's the plan i don't really have any other haul i just wanted to to give a shout out to uh, a new floss tuber. She's got a few floss tubes out now, I think, maybe three or four. Stitchy Sally. Um, she stitches some beautiful pieces. Um, so certainly, I would say I'll add the link, but I'll probably not add the, the link till next week. Um, at the moment, I'm, uh, I'm only filming on my phone, so I can't really add anything in until I get organised with a laptop, which will probably be next week. Um, but Stitchy Sally, please search her out. You'll you'll love her. Um, she's very down to earth. She's got some great projects. Um, if you like Blackbird, if you like With Thy Needle, you'll thoroughly enjoy um, her stitching, and she's a great finisher as well. So um, that's always nice to see. So I would certainly uh, encourage you to go over and see her. Um, and I think the final thing I wanted to say was to thank the NHS. Um, and for those of you that are not in the UK. We have what's called a National Health Service here. Um, I've never really utilised the National Health Service um, because obviously I've been away for, for, for many, many years. And my experience um, of other health services was, was different. But I, I can't fault them from the moment that the ambulance arrived to, to for me being treated so quickly and being uh, operated on so quickly. And then I was kept in for four days. Um, I finally got out on the Saturday. Um, my follow-up appointments, I have 
passenger transport, patient transport, sorry, to take me because we have stairs at the front of the house, which means I can I can't get down them with my walker. I have a I have both crutches and a walker at the moment. Crutches are okay, but I prefer to use the walker and stairs are just non-negotiable so um, despite us having beautiful weather here in Scotland I'm not really seeing much of it um, but it's, it's really it's been overwhelming for me anyway to be treated so well in such a short period of time and yeah so far everything has been great and I think all the royal wishes I've received on Instagram um, and Facebook and Flosstube has been really good for me as well because it can be quite um, quite isolating when something like this happens um, you're quite vulnerable so it was always good when people check in on me uh, and I've received some lovely gifts and cards um, and flowers which is uh, which is really nice as well um, I think I've rambled on enough I've probably forgotten quite a lot and um, hopefully the next time I film I'll be a little bit maybe more coherent um, but I hope you're all well I hope everyone is uh, staying safe we still have a pandemic no matter what anybody thinks is happening um, so please be careful in what you do um, again thanks for supporting my channel thanks for uh, the comments the likes um, and the subscribers i got another bit of a jump which was really good and uh, maybe my advice would be to stay safe and be careful in the shower because you never know what can happen in there um, maybe my mind and my feet were not working in coordination that morning um, but I'm on the mend um, it'll be a, a long road uh, I don't suppose it will be easy um, but everything so far they're all really happy with how the the, the wound is, is, is healing um, everything seems to be on point which is good um, what I did have my eyes open to in the NHS was when I was in hospital it's just how stretched they are there's a, a they do a lot um, they rely heavily on nursing assistants um, yeah so anyway take care stay safe and hopefully I'll catch up in another couple of weeks with you um, so yeah okay bye oh I know what I had to say today is actually my parents uh, wedding anniversary and it's 57 years ago today that they've been married. Um, my mum and dad were very, very, very young when they got married. Um, so yeah, today is, is 57 years and next week is my birthday and I will not be celebrating. I already knew I wouldn't be celebrating how I had hoped because of the other changes that happened in my life. But now there will be no pink gin on, uh, on my birthday for me. Uh, there's no way that I can, I can drink uh, with the amount of uh, medication that I'm on at the moment. I'm also on some injections that my mum gives me twice a day. So, yeah, it's I'll, I'll celebrate my birthday maybe later on in the year. It is what it is. So, I rambled on enough now. So, please take care, stay safe, and um, I'll catch up with you soon. Bye.